This image took the internet by storm. It blew up on Reddit, especially in the programmer communities. The comments section was a goldmine, with people sharing all sorts of insider info about the tech world. So, let's dive into this viral image and see why it resonated so much with programmers. This image is a funny take on how complex and fragile our digital infrastructure is. It's like a tower of wobbly blocks, representing all the different systems that keep the internet running. The hero of the picture is the random person in Nebraska who's been keeping this tower from collapsing since 2003. They represent the dedicated people working behind the scenes to keep everything online. And then there's the Ohio nerd who can feel even the slightest delay. They represent all of us who rely on the internet and notice when things aren't working perfectly. As a beginner coder, I did not get the joke. Can someone explain? This honest question from a beginner coder highlights the layered meaning of the comic and the need for context to fully appreciate the humor and its relevance to the programming world. The reply breaks down the joke into two parts. The first part explains the reliance of programmers on existing libraries and frameworks, often maintained by individuals as personal projects on platforms like GitHub. It emphasizes the unseen work that goes into building and maintaining these tools, which are crucial for many programmers but may not always be recognized. The second part references the discovery of a backdoor in a Linux utility by a Microsoft engineer. This real-life event connects to the comic's theme of vigilance and expertise required to maintain secure and reliable digital infrastructure. It also adds a layer of humor by emphasizing the engineer's frustration with the backdoor's performance impact. Here the first comment based on his LinkedIn profile, he has probably been promoted because of that Eisen response response, well hi deserve it, clearly expresses agreement with the first comment. Another person replied, he is now a partner software engineer at Microsoft. A partner software engineer at Microsoft has a higher level of responsibility, compensation, and expectations than a principal engineer. They also have a larger percentage of equity in their compensation, and their performance is compared to other partners. The average total compensation for a Microsoft partner in the United States is $785,192, which includes a base salary of $284,000, a stock grant of $397,417, and a bonus of $103,775. A partner software engineer at Microsoft may earn between $634,000 and $910,000. The average base salary for a Microsoft Partner Software Engineering Manager is $205,000, and the average additional pay is $88,000. For context, there's Senior where you're given abstract goals and you design execute. Then Principal, where you're an expert on certain matters and guide others on their designs. Partner is higher than this, where next is Technical Fellow. These are people who revolutionize an industry, create a new product, etc. Like the creator of HoloLens was a technical fellow. Comments delve into the interesting intersection of geography and compensation in the tech industry. Well, I'm glad he can move out of Nebraska now winking face. This comment humorously suggests that the high compensation associated with the partner software engineer role would allow the individual to relocate from Nebraska, perhaps implying a preference for living elsewhere. He's actually in SF, so he's technically middle class. This reply points out that the individual is already located in San Francisco, a notoriously expensive city. Despite the high salary, they would still be considered middle class due to the high cost of living. Up tomorrow on CS Questions. My new boss has refused my request for a $100,000 bump, which seems trivial, given I am seeing a lot of people getting offers of $785,192. Should I jump ship? This comment humorously predicts a future post on the CS Career Questions subreddit, reflecting the disparity in salary expectations and offers within the tech industry. It also subtly critiques the high cost of living in San Francisco, where even a substantial salary might not translate to a lavish lifestyle. 450 milliseconds is very noticeable when running a battery of tests that usually take less than 20 milliseconds each. But still funny laughing face, this comment highlights the significant impact of a 450 milliseconds delay in specific scenarios, such as running tests that typically take less than 20 milliseconds, 
It emphasizes the acute sensitivity of programmers to performance issues, even when the delays might seem small to others. 450 milliseconds delay is very noticeable, even for a manual connection via SSH. I definitely notice that. I notice significantly smaller delays when my work VPN decides to send my connection half across the globe. The amazing part is not blame the network and ignore it. This comment reinforces the previous point, stating that even in manual tasks like SSH connections, a 450 milliseconds delay would be noticeable. It also highlights the tendency to initially blame network issues for such delays, emphasizing the importance of investigating further to uncover the root cause, as the Microsoft engineer did with the XZ backdoor. Further comments discuss the perception of delays and the context in which they become noticeable. The original commenter clarifies that the noticeable difference comes from the significant increase compared to usual response times, not just the absolute value of the delay. Just imagine if the evil XZ developer managed to fix his delay bug before this guy discovered it. This comment speculates on a hypothetical scenario where the backdoor's performance impact was addressed before being discovered, highlighting the potential for malicious code to remain hidden if it doesn't cause noticeable issues. Is there real life example of those projects some people in Nebraska maintains? This question seeks a concrete example of the type of crucial digital infrastructure projects referenced in the comic. Specifically, those maintained by individuals. The primary maintainer of an open source project, CoreJS, that is on hundreds of millions of websites and over 50% of the world's most visited websites, from PayPal to Pornhub, says he may walk away from the project after maintaining it for years with minimal reward, or even change it to a closed source license in future. This reply provides a relevant and impactful example. It highlights the critical role of the maintainer of CoreJS, an open source project used by countless websites and the potential consequences if they choose to abandon or close source the project. Further comments discuss the feasibility of replacing CoreJS and the maintainer's motivations. One comment suggests that recreating CoreJS would be relatively easy and that its replacement would be swift if needed. This perspective highlights the potential for community driven solutions in the open source world. Another comment dismisses the maintainer's threats as empty promises, suggesting that the complexity and effort involved in maintaining such a project make it unlikely for someone else to take over, and therefore, walking away is not a realistic option. In 2016, a dev removed his code from NPM and it broke a large portion of the internet. This statement refers to the infamous left pad incident where a developer unpublished a small but widely used code package from the NPM registry, causing widespread disruption to numerous projects and applications that depended on it. The attached article, titled Rage Quit, Coder Unpublished 17 Lines of JavaScript and Broke the Internet, provides further context and details about the incident. It explains how a dispute over a module name led to the developer's frustration and ultimately their decision to unpublish the code, inadvertently impacting a significant portion of the JavaScript ecosystem. The image of a Rage comic character adds a humorous element, reflecting the frustration and disbelief that many developers experienced during the incident. Question. What would have been the impact if this guy didn't detect this delay? This question directly addresses the hypothetical scenario of the backdoor going unnoticed, prompting discussion about the potential consequences. The first reply provides a detailed explanation of the backdoor's capabilities and its severity. Remote code execution. The backdoor grants an attacker with the correct private key the ability to execute code remotely on affected Linux systems. Impact on critical systems. This vulnerability could potentially affect essential infrastructure, including firewalls and systems handling sensitive data. Evasion of security measures. The backdoor's ability to hide data from scans, especially when encrypted, makes it particularly dangerous as it can bypass typical security checks. High severity score. The assigned CVE and CVSS scores indicate the critical nature of this vulnerability. Further comments contemplate the potential long-term consequences of the backdoor remaining undetected, one commenter speculates on how long it might have taken for the backdoor to be discovered and what the impact might have been. They raise the possibility of it already being exploited without anyone's knowledge. Another commenter expresses concern about the potential use of the backdoor for spying, 
or launching large-scale attacks on Linux systems. This highlights the potential for widespread damage and disruption. This discussion underscores the critical role of vigilance and expertise in maintaining cybersecurity. It emphasizes the potentially devastating consequences of vulnerabilities going undetected and reinforces the importance of individuals like the Microsoft engineer who discovered the XZ backdoor.